horse rider's mechanic, your stirrup length. This short video complements the horse rider's mechanic books and video series, but of course it's also relevant to people who do not have the books or videos. The horse rider's mechanic is about how you can rapidly improve your position and your balance, the fundamental building blocks of being a good rider. As a consequence, your security and your confidence increase, your riding improves and your horse goes better. Make sure you check out the Horse Riders Mechanic website for lots of free information, not just about riding but also about horse management. This video is suitable for everyone who rides and who teaches riding. It covers a basic subject but as with all the information at Horse Riders Mechanic, it makes sure you fully understand the fundamental building blocks that help you or your clients to ride better. Therefore, it's worth spending a few minutes watching this video as you may miss a light bulb moment if you don't. The correct stirrup length is very important. When your stirrups are the correct length, you can fully utilize the dip and spring function of the joints in your legs. This will be particularly felt in trot, but also in canter. You can see that as the seat leaves the saddle, the heels drop slightly. This is what should happen as the weight of the rider transfers from their seat to their feet. This cannot happen if the stirrups are too long. Riders tend to ride with their stirrups too long rather than too short. This may be because they want their legs to look as long as possible. In the second diagram, the rider's heels are rising as the seat is rising in rising trot. This is because the stirrups are not short enough to simultaneously allow the heels to drop slightly as the seat leaves the saddle. When the stirrups are too long, a rider will also lose their balance and tend to rely on the reins for stability. If the stirrups are too short, several things tend to happen. The rider will tend to sit further back in the saddle. This can put too much weight on the weaker part of the horse's back. The back gets weaker the further it goes from the withers. The rider will tend to rise too high in rising trot. This means that their centre of gravity will be too high when they are at the top of the rise, making them less secure. The rider will tend to tire more quickly. This means that they become more difficult for their horse to carry. Your thigh should be at about 45 degrees to upright for riding on the flat, i.e. not jumping possibly slightly less, 40 degrees, for a very experienced rider. Or in other words, an experienced rider can ride slightly longer than an inexperienced rider. So, the correct stirrup length helps you to ride as well as possible by allowing you to have just the right amount of bend in your joints. So how can you tell if your stirrups are the correct length for you? As already mentioned, when they are too long, your heels will not be able to dip slightly as you rise. You will also not be able to clear the pommel of the saddle, therefore you will either hit it each time you rise, or you will not be able to swing your hips forward far enough in rising trot. In sitting trot and canter, the stirrups will either clatter around on your feet, or you will lose them altogether. Your lower legs, in rising trot, sitting trot and canter, will be disengaged at this point because as soon as the heel comes higher than the toe, the lower leg disengages. At this point, the rider is standing on tiptoe, or rather the balls of their feet, and is in a very precarious position. Strips that are too short are much less common because a rider tires more quickly when they are too short. The muscles in the legs have to work a bit harder and the joints ache quite quickly due to being too constricted. So riders tend to self-regulate stirrups that are too short. When your stirrups are just right, you will feel much more comfortable and secure. You should be able to rise the trot for quite a period of time without feeling tired once you are riding fit and without pain occurring, especially in the outside of the ankle joint. As a general rule of thumb, the bottom of the stirrup iron should be level with your ankle bones when you take your feet out of the stirrups. Another, even more general rule of thumb, that you can use even before you mount, is to put your knuckles to the stirrup bar, the metal bar that the stirrup leather threads onto, and with your other hand lift the stirrup iron itself and see if the base of it reaches to your armpit. 
Both of these methods give you a ballpark figure. To get a more accurate result, try standing in your stirrups while your horse is either stationary or walking. Let your heels drop slightly and your seat should be able to clear the pommel, the front of the saddle. You will need to re-evaluate when you start to trot. If you suspect that your stirrups are too long, and they often are, experiment with taking them up just one hurl at a time and see what a difference it makes to the engagement of your lower leg in particular. You have been watching Your Stirrup Length by the Horse Riders Mechanic. Make sure you check out the Horse Riders Mechanic website for lots of free information. For example, you can start reading the Horse Riders Mechanic workbooks for free on the website.